welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys how I do my foundation routine. Um, please pardon the fact that I look a little rough. I literally just woke up about 30 minutes ago and I have a birthday party to go to. So, um, but, um, I have a lot of people telling me when I post my pictures that my skin is so smooth and they want to know how I do it. Well, now I'm going to show you guys. So, and I'm in my nightgown too, because I, oh, I don't know if you guys do this, but I do my makeup before I get dressed. I mean, I know what I'm going to wear, but I don't know. I'm just weird. So, and my hair is not even done. It looks crappy, but whatever. <laughs> We're just keep rolling. So, let's get started. Okay, first, we're gonna prime. I'm gonna prime my face, and I I actually use two primers. Let's go this way. Excuse me. I use the NYX pore filler to fill up all these pores, especially right here in this area. Um, I love this stuff. Uh, it is a great dupe for the Benefits Professional, especially if you're cruelty free like me. Um, I'm almost out of it. Good thing I got another bottle of it. <laughs> it's a nice silicone feel. It's not too heavy. It's very light. And my mirror's up here, so I'll be looking up here. And it's very light, and it fills in those pores like bomb. And I will put in a before and after shot when this video is over. And the best thing to do with the pore filler is... I have piercing scars right here. I can never get this one filled up, but I can always fill this one up where my Labre was with the pore filler. See, it's less noticeable now. Well, it's still noticeable, but it's less noticeable. Okay. Put leftover on my forehead. <clears throat> All right. Cut in there. Okay. Guys. I do not contour anything. I want to tell you guys that while I put my second primer on which is the wet and wild coverall primer this is actually a lotion consistency we'll go back to contour in a minute this is actually a lotion consistency i found that if i use and it literally smells like elmer's glue for it to stick Ooh, i think i'm gonna need to get another bottle for it to for your makeup to stick to your face i love it But um, as I was saying, I do not contour anything. I don't contour before I put my, my foundations down. I don't contour after I put my foundations down. Um, and some people might find that weird, but it's just, I, I'm just not into it. <sighs> All right. That's done. I'm going to give it a second to like soak into my skin before I start putting my foundation on. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have a lot of redness on my face. I have really bad dark circles. My dark circle-itis, I call it. I have hyperpigmentation right here above my lip. Um, some freckles. Um, hyperpigmentation on my eyelids. So... I have found that this next product really helps for all of that. Let me take a drink. 
stuff is so bad for my teeth, but I can't help but drink it all the time. All right. Sorry for any shakiness. My hair looks terrible, but I'll redo it once I get dressed. <laughs> so now you guys should know what product is next. And that is my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It is a color correcting full coverage cream. Now, the best thing I love about this, besides it being cruelty free, is that it has an SPF of 50 in it. So, when I do my morning um, skincare regimen, I can skip putting an extra, putting in that extra SPF if I'm doing my makeup and I'm going out because this has SPF in it for me. And look at this. I've had this bottle, this tube since May. And it's like, it's on its last leg. <laughs> but I always have my backups ready. Always. So what I do is I just take a pump like this. And then I'll just press it right here on my cheek. And I will do that for my other cheek. My forehead. I'll put a dab on my nose. A dab right here. And then a little bit right here on my chin. Okay. Now, my brushes. I'm going to take this L foundation brush that I seriously got for like $2 at Walmart. And I'm going to put this all over my face. But I'm not going to swipe because what that does is that that's going to cause lines on your face. I'm actually going to pounce it as if I was going to use a beauty blender. But I don't like beauty blenders. So... I use my brushes and I pounce it in. Therefore, it takes away the look of the swipes on your face. And every time I am done with applying my CC cream, hold on one second. Okay, every time I am done applying my CC cream, I got a little bit too much right here. Okay. I always wipe off my foundation brush. One, because it takes off that excess, um, it takes off the excess CC cream. And two, it helps make it easier for when I have to clean my brush. See, I'm just pouncing it. And yes, I put it all over my eyelids. The only time I swipe is when I get it right here on my lap, on the bottom of my la eyes. I can't talk this morning. And the best thing I love about this is because as it settles, it's going to color correct for me. So I don't need to waste, you know, money and time using separate color correcting items. And plus, regular foundations break me out. That's why I love, love, love this CC cream. I think I put a little bit too much on my nose today. Oh, well. My big forehead. And make sure you get the hairline as well I do not put it on my ears I just I know some people do that but I think that's a little weird <laughs> not too much though just make sure it's blended really good because you don't want to look all cakey and then I will take I will take the excess foundation on my brush and I'll put it down here on Felicia. Sometimes it makes my arm hurt. <laughs> and you see where all that redness was? As my CC cream is setting it, it helps tame that redness. 
That's what I love about this stuff. Okay, I'm going to double check just to make sure I ain't got no funky areas. Ow. My cheek is still really bruised and it hurts really, really bad. Okay. There. Now I'll take my, excuse me, foundation brush and I'll just wipe it off on my towel. Because like I said, it gets all that excess, you know, CC cream off and then it, uh, already knows. And it is easier for cleaning. See, just by putting the CC cream on, it start, starts making my face look less sickly. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go in with the most bomb concealer ever. Y'all should know what this is. It is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I am in fair. All right. I do use the triangle method. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I think I'm almost out of this too. That's why whenever you buy any of your foundations, concealers or anything, always buy two because this is going to be the product that you're going to go through the most. And especially with this Tarte Shape Tape because it is a awesome product that you, that like, it's very hard to come by. Like, Ulta and Tarte forever have this sold out on their website. Okay, for those of you who are new to my channel, as you notice, I stopped putting con putting concealer right here. If you go all the way back, this is for my fuller face girls, like me. If you bring it all the way back, what that's going to do is that's going to widen your face out. And I know some people don't want to look any more wide. I know I don't want to look any more wide than I already do. So I don't put like all of the concealer all the way back. So now I am going to take this uh, Morphe G2 brush. This is the only Morphe product I have and I'm good with that. And now I'm just going to pounce it into my skin. I don't swipe, I pounce. So it's like you're using a beauty blender, but you're not you're using a brush. But I will kind of pounce it back a little, and I always put concealer on my eyes, on my eyelids, always. I really do like this brush. This is the only Morphe product I was really interested in, and this brush is bomb. Okay. My face is still a little pink because it's warm in here. I'm about ready to turn my fan on. All right. Foundation, I mean, concealer is done. Now, I don't bake, people. I just don't like it but for those of you who don't bake like me you can go in with a foundation powder but I prefer the physicians formula mineral wear powder it's best if you use where did it just it's best if you use like a mineral wear foundation powder um, because it looks more natural and I've repeated this so many times but for those of you who are new to my channel as you can tell, I'm pretty, pretty light. But what I do with my foundation powder, always pounce, don't blend in. Um, what I did with my foundation powder is that I went up a step in the color because I was finding that when I used fair powders, I was looking 
more fair than what I actually am. But always pounce. I don't, don't rub it in. I always pounce it. That is, I think that's the key to why my skin always looks so smooth is because I don't wipe anything in. I always pounce it. Stupid hair. All right. And we're done. This is how I get that flawless looking smooth skin that everybody loves. Um, and I get so many compliments on. Um, but yeah, we are done. I will go ahead, I will insert a before picture and an after picture and you guys can tell the difference. So that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, I, uh, I'm still asleep. <laughs> Until next time, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Melissa Garrett, on Snapchat at Melissa Leah 1223 and on Instagram as Melissa Leah Garrett. Come on over. We have fun on those pages too. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you see one with my face and my gorgeous smile, Report it because it's fake. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye! Uh, the moment you get foundation powder up your nose. Sexy. Sexiness. Uh, I gotta put powder in my eyes. <laughs> Forgot that.